Hello, my friends. Hello, it's Matthew Street, and welcome to my channel. As always, I truly appreciate you being here. And folks, I have a good video today. Folks, I am so excited to show you some recent gifts I received from somebody very special to me. And folks, these gifts, Beatles related, are going to blow your mind. They are the rarest, rare, Beatles related album covers I have ever seen in my entire life and one of the best Beatles related gifts I have ever ever received. Let me give you some of the backstory folks. Now folks, you know, we come to YouTube and we want to talk about music, music we love, music we're passionate about like the Beatles and for me the 60s pop music and power pop and rock and roll. And you hope along the way you'll meet some good people, you'll meet some decent people, people that have the same mindset as you, people that have the same interests as you, that like the same things you like, that enjoy similar things you enjoy. And if you're fortunate and if you're lucky because it's so diverse out there, there are so many channels, so many people that hopefully, hopefully, if you're fortunate, you will hone it down and find a few special people, people that mean the world to you. And I have several friends that I've met over the six or seven years that I've been here in YouTube, but sometimes I'll find a channel and it just strikes me. It's just like, this is in the top echelon. This is one of my favorite channels, a channel that I will be following because there's so much about it you love and enjoy and you, you subscribe right away, you ring that bell for notifications, you like the videos, you comment on occasion when it suits you. And I have found a few channels like that, but one of my favorite, favorite channels of all time here in YouTube since I've been here has been this one. Pop Goes the 60s, I love it, with host Matt Williamson. Folks, this channel is one of my favorites and it's such an important channel to me that I even have a portrait of Mr. Williamson right there, right next to Kristen Pinnell, from the Grip Weeds, I've got Michael Jordan near him, I got Rob Skier Music, Tim Allen, all kinds of people. Paul McCartney's not far from him, Alice Cooper. Anyway, folks, I love Matt and his channel, Pop Goes the 60s. Now, this channel is second to none in content, uh, especially for someone like me who loves music from the 60s, the Beatles. I mean, second to none in content, Beatles, top echelon Beatles channel, but not only Beatles, top echelon pop and rock and roll from the 60s channel. He talks about really well-known acclaimed music from the 60s, but the cool thing is he'll take rarer, more obscure stuff from the 60s and focus in on those artists and really give them a deep dive. And I could, I just sit there mesmerized watching his channel because he'll get into some of the history of some of the artists that I love so much, like Paul Revere and the Raiders. You know, bands you don't expect from the 60s. The Birds, the Turtles, the Rascals, the Association, the Love and Spoonful. He'll take these bands and do a deep dive into them, and along with the Beatles and the bigger bands, and he'll just give them equal attention, equal research, equal putting the time in, and the videos come out just so well done, folks. So, so well done. It's just one of those channels that it's so intelligent. Matt's an intelligent guy. He's well-researched. He's he, he's an academic to me, you know, because I'm a big goofball here on my channel goofing around. So to see him and listen to him, he just makes you feel good. He makes you feel smarter because he's just academic in nature, the way he comes across with his videos. His videos are historically accurate. They're visually amazing. He, his editing is second to none, pristine. It's just absolutely beautiful. And the wonderful thing about him is he does all this, but he does it in an entertaining and an accessible manner. His delivery is very reachable. Like he's just got a good way about him and a great personality and that comes across right away. And folks, I. I don't know what else to say say more about about him and the channel. It's just if you haven't subscribed yet, and, and I'm, I don't need to be here promoting that because he he does such a great job with his channel that he's he's got numerous subscribers and a great loyal following. I happen to be one of them, and I just encourage you if you haven't discovered Pop Goes the '60s yet with Matt Williamson, 
get over there. The link will be below and, and do it. But I don't think I'm telling you anything new because, you know, he's, he's, got, he's just got a great following and I'm sure you've heard of him. And what I love about Matt is he adds just enough humor to make his videos that much more fun. You know, I like to add humor to my videos, but I'm just, like I said, I'm a big goofball. I get silly and crazy and act like a nut job sometimes. Not all the time, but some of my videos. Matt, he's a little more, he knows how to add the humor without going over the top. You know what I mean? He knows how to put it in there just right. I love the level of humor he adds to his videos. And he's got some cool swag. I love his swag. I love his logo. He, he's a, I believe he's a graphic designer. He's really, he's very talented and artistic and he's into that kind of realm and, and it shows. And let me just say this about him. Not only does he do deep dives into the 60s and that, but he'll do reviews of things. He'll review books, he'll review music. He'll not only do histories of artists and bands, but he'll give channel updates on what he's planning next and what's coming down the road. He gives you a little taste for what's coming. He'll talk about artist discographies. He'll give you samples of things. He does fantastic interviews. He's been on with numerous authors in their various works about the Beatles and 60s rock and roll. Uh, people like John Heaton, Jude Kessler, uh, Ken Womack who just wrote the book about Mal Evans. He, he did a great interview with him. And his most recent one, one I was just mesmerized with, was with May Pang. Great, great channel, folks. Just fantastic. I know I'm going on about Matt and Pop Goes the 60s, but it's a wonderful channel. Talks about 60s film and TV, pop culture. Uh, uh, congratulations to him. He was recently married within the last year. So Mrs. Pop Goes the 60s is out there somewhere too, helping him out. And he's got a cute dog that shows up in some of his videos and makes appearances called Bogey. Cute little pup. Love seeing him. And he makes a hell of a drink. Check out some of his videos when he talks about some of the drinks during Christmas time that he'll give you the recipe for. Fantastic stuff. Uh, Man, some of my favorite videos of, of, of his have been like, wow, he's he had a really popular one where he talked about the argument and let it be between George and Paul, and he did a deep dive into that argument with the context of it. That's one of my favorites. Why Pete Best was fired from the Beatles. Um, the ten, He had a great series about the 10 reasons the Beatles broke up. I mean, some of these videos go back a few years ago, but they're, they're all there, folks. Check them out. So I love Matt. I love his channel. I know I've been talking about Matt here, but he deserves it. He's a great guy. But what this video is about is Matt just gifted me with something. Now, I never in my wildest dreams being here and knowing Matt and his channel for about four years now, that I would ever get to know him on a personal level, that I could have personal contact with Matt Williamson and become friendly with him. So I am honored and humbled that Matt and I in recent times have established a relationship. And I guess I did something nice for him. <laughs> I try anyway. And he was so taken by something I did for him. And he was very pleased with it that he wanted to reciprocate and thank me. And I was like, no, 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 I'm just happy to do to do something this for you, and it was something I enjoyed doing, so that's enough. And he said, "No, no, no, I insist. Give it. Let's let's make a contact here. Let's let's do this. I want to do something nice for you." And so uh, we were able to get each other's personal contact, and Matt did something did something nice for me, folks. He gave me something very cool, and I have to show you this. Now we all love this album. This is my 50th anniversary edition, George Harrison. All things must pass. But what if this album was a single album? Matt created a cover. What if it was a single disc? And here it is. All things must pass. The single disc version. Look at the professional nature of this cover, folks. And the great song listing on it. All right. Now, obviously none of us want to change the beauty and the perfection of All Things Must Pass, having three discs with the jam disc and all that. But it's a nice thing to think about if we could have it in a single disc, if it just came out as a George Harrison album with like 13, 14 songs. 
So anyway, I'll let you look at the song list. I'm not going to read them all out to you. I, I love the selection of songs Matt picked for this single disc, All Things Must Pass. But look at, I mean, the binding has writing on it. It's it's just, it's it's this is unbelievable that he would give me this. I'm just so taken by it. It's going to be immediately displayed in my music room here somewhere because it's so beautiful and so perfect. So I thank him for that. Rare Beatles related album. Here's another one. First, let me show you the original. Beatles 65. Now we always know and love this album. Look at the design of it, okay? Here's the back. But what if Beatles 65 was reimagined and later in the Beatles career, they wanted to release an album called Beatles 70. Would this be what the cover could look like? Look at this thing, folks. This is something you just don't see every day, my friends. This is something you just do not see. Here's the song listing selected for this album. With also a narrative. I don't know how it's going to translate. I'll hold it there for a second. I don't know. I hope it translates. You're able to freeze and read that. But look at this, folks. Binding, just like any Beatles album. Beatles 70. I, I mean, I'm like, it's it's a record cover, folks. It's an actual record cover. I, I, I just, this gift is just so unbelievable. So unbelievable. I, and I'm just stunned by it because... He did have an album, Albums That Never Were series about three years ago or so, where he did show the Beatles 70 and the next one that I'm about to show you, my final and favorite one. And I encourage you, go back and check out those videos and you will be blown away how he talks about why he selected the songs he did for these albums that never were for the Beatles. He goes into a deep dive as to you know the, the reasoning behind the song selection. It's beautiful. Okay, and my favorite one is based off this album. One of my favorite, if not the favorite, U.S. Capitol Beatles album in, in my world. I've always loved the Beatles' second album. It is absolutely one of my favorites, favorites of all time. All right, binding. Okay, we love this album. But what if it was the Beatles creating a final album with that motif. Well, you might have this. The Beatles' last album. Look at the detailed, professional nature of the photos inserted. Very similar to on this album, how it's done. Look at that. Look at that. The binding perfect the rear imagery again i'll hold it so if you want to freeze and read or look at the images the song selection i'll do my best with that folks hopefully it focuses in look at the detail put into this folks this beatles album that never was and could have been look at that beautiful this is my absolute favorite, folks. I'm just stunned, stunned on the professionalism of this. And he also did a video about three years ago on this one, the Beatles' last album, with his deep dive into the song selections and why he chose those songs. And they're great, great videos, the way Matt goes into detail about these Beatles albums that never were. All I can say to you, folks, is get over to Pop Goes the 60s subscribe, say hello. I mean, you know, you do th nice things for people. You don't expect anything in return. The biggest gift for me with Matt is that I have personal contact with him now and that we can build a friendship and help each other out if need be. It's, it's nice to do that. And I'm certainly here for him. If he ever needs a favor from me or needs some assistance from me, then I would certainly jump at the opportunity to help him out. But he wrote me a nice note here, and I hope he doesn't mind me sharing it with you, but it's just so nice to get a personal handwritten note from Matt. Mr. Street, 
So glad to have a connection with you. Thanks again for supporting my channel. And this small gift is a way for me to support your channel. All the best, and let's stay in touch. Matt from Pop Goes the 60s. Folks, Matt, don't know how I to thank you other than to say I'm humbled. I'm humbled by your generosity. I'm humbled to know you and, and be a, a YouTube friend of yours. Thanks again, everybody. I don't want this video to be too long, but I just want to encourage you. Encourage you. Get over to Pop Goes the 60s and subscribe. You will not be sorry. It's one of the best music-related, 60s pop and rock-related, Beatles-related channels on YouTube today, bar none. And I, 100% from what, it, what it's worth, my little channel here, I 100% endorse Pop Goes the 60s. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to Matt Williamson, and I will see you all soon. I hope you enjoyed seeing these rare, rare Beatles-related album covers. Bye-bye.